here is a case of horseshoe kidney operated outside for laparoscopic pyelolithotomy 49 years male patient 6 months back operated outside digestant was kept but somehow digestant could not be removed and patient was complaining of pain on the side of the surgery and uh, when he came this was the picture of the laparoscopic ports uh, the post operative residual stones are like this one stone in the isthmus one stone in the lower pole one stone in the upper pole two stones in the inferior calyx small stones in the inferior calyx digestant was old initially we thought we will replace with digestant but there wasn't much pyonephrosis or anything in the kidney a little bit of flakes were there initially we did rgp because lab pyelolithotomy was done we need to know the uh, road map so after that because the ureter was accommodable because of this stent we put a larger access sheath initially 35 centimeters uh, 12 by 14 cook access sheath then we went inside initially some amount of flakes were there we washed water outflow was very good this is actually on the isthmic region quite long isthmus two stones were there one here and the other stone is in this if you see uh, in this see how almost has gone opposite side uh, like that but it could easily go because there was some dilatation initially we used thulium fiber laser uh, in this uh, stone uh, where the settings of the dusting was used with 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 joule and 80 hertz the dust was happening but very slow visually it is not uh, like in homium but it happens fine dust so after some time we have taken homium also and made into pieces and popcorn then we switched over to one more stone in the uh, middle calyx which was hiding like this this stone was very difficult i could not understand whether pcrl of any puncture can remove isthmic stone and this stone and inferior calyx stone all in the post-operative uh, case of a lab pyelolithotomy but for RIRS this stone was very difficult so uh, to reach that calyx in the middle part was difficult uh, the thulium fiber laser fragmentation mode is used uh, with little eye joules to fragment whatever that is visualized initially we used flex xc with uh, a right sided uh, um, a three o'clock position laser it was not working because the entire thing was at nine o'clock so I change it to P7 scope. Now see the laser fiber is at 9 o'clock and it is on this stone. It was hiding, hiding, hiding. Because of the, uh, the, uh, the fragmentation, uh, small, small stones with water came out and the last piece uh, hiding was just came out. Sometimes we just cut the mucosa on the extreme uh, 9 o'clock position. But fortunately the big cavity is this thing. Now after that one more stone was difficult was inferior calicial stone, clot was there, small small stones were there. So to reach that calyx just after the pelvis it is just dipping. Actually the contrast which was going initially dense contrast was into this calyx. Uh, the laser doesn't work with uh, easily with the clot. So we have to remove the hide uh, stones and then fragmentation mode initially and then popcorn mode. Even then we are not happy. Then we used basket, encircle and uh, taken out the clots. Three, four times uh, we have taken out the clots and at the end uh, the calyx was completely uh, um, um, now it is popcorn mode. See the awkward angle inferior calyx. See this was the organized clot. Usually this does not break with homium or uh, thulium. So closely holding it and taking it out. After that, uh, if you see two, three times, it emptied. Once it is emptied, then popcorn mode for the residual stones is very easy. So this was the difficult job. One was the middle calyx hiding part. See, this is the way we removed all. Um, they will not be very big, but for the RIRS, they are big. Now the contrast is injected in all the calyces. This desk contrast was the one last done. Then we went to each calyx. Uh, then we could appreciate how... Uh, largely dilated uh, complex anatomy it is. Most of the times uh, superior calyx if you puncture in PCNL 
may reach the inferior calyx and pelvic stone but uh, may not be the isthmic stone which was very big in the beginning so ultimately in such cases multiple stones multiple calyces abnormal anatomy rirs is definitely useful even though it is technically demanding we cleared most of the stones and rgp is not casting shadow but ultimately ct will tell the result uh, we will do the ct after this entry mold 2 weeks and update you thank you